Portland coach Terry Stotts has taken to putting forward Nicola Batum on opposing point guards early in games. His long wingspan allows him to muck up passing lanes as teams try to start their offense. The Trailblazers like to fight over the top on all pick and roll plays, and with Batum trailing, his arms allow him to contest shots from behind, causing backside pressure for shooters. It also allows for situational switches that wouldn't be possible with a smaller guard defending. On wing screens, it allows Batum to switch with Wesley Matthews, where the size disparity between wing and guard doesn't create a mismatch. In this play against the Philadelphia 76ers, Matthews is guarding Evan Turner, while Batum is guarding Michael Carter-Williams. As Turner comes to set a screen for Carter-Williams, Batum stays home and takes Turner on the switch. It also allows for an advantage in the side pick and roll. On this play against the Toronto Raptors, Kyle Lowry cuts across the formation as Chuck Hayes rolls to the right block. Batum and Joel Freeland track Lowry across the lane. When the Toronto guard moves to take a jumper, Batum lets Freeland contest the shot and has a position and size to box out Hayes for a rebound. In both of these situations, a smaller guard would have been at a size disadvantage. Of course, a lot of this has to do with Damian Lillard's deficiencies on defense. His inability to fight over screens and his issue staying in front of ball handlers particularly by overplaying the dominant hand and biting on the first dribble move, has made him the weakest link on defense for Portland starters. This forces Batum onto many opposing point guards by default, and unless the Trailblazers can settle the young guard's poor defensive habits, we should see Nicola Batum guarding the ball handler earlier in games than we see this season.